Namaste. My name is Yogi Maharaj. I'm the founder of Love Kushko, a cannabis wellness space dedicated to providing education, resources, and events for the South Asian diaspora. Today is Mahashivratri, the anniversary of Hinduism's favorite stoner couple, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. In honor of their love, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make bhang tandai. Bhang literally means hemp in Sanskrit, and bhang tandai means ice cold weed. Bhang tandai is basically a dainty, nutty milkshake that's laced with a lot of chai spices and served ice cold. First, we're going to start by grinding our weed. Today, we're using GMO cookies from SF Roots, a black-owned cannabis business born in the heart of San Francisco. Grinding your weed is important before we decarb it so that we can activate all of the THC in the cannabis. This will ensure that you get a proper high upon consumption. And we're going to bake it at 220 degrees for about 30 minutes. Make sure to check on your bud every 10 minutes so that it doesn't burn. Next, we're gonna grind the almonds. I'm doing this old school with something we call a silora. It's a stone tablet and rolling pin. But I highly recommend using a blender because it's already all almond flour is, is just ground almonds. Next, we're gonna add poppy seeds. Poppy seed helps enhance some of the psychoactive effects of cannabis. And slowly continue to add your spices. The spices we'll be adding are cardamom and clove. Once ground, set this aside. This is called your bhang masala. Last thing we'll be adding is ginger. You can use fresh ginger or powdered ginger. Next, we're gonna make the bhang paste. Take the decarbed weed and toss it into your pot. Follow with a couple spoons of clarified butter. Mine is homemade. Add a few teaspoons of sugar and transfer this to the heat. Turn your stove top on to medium low heat, just enough so that the clarified butter or ghee starts to melt and combine with the sugar and weed. We're gonna cook this for about five to 10 minutes. As the butter continues to melt, add water about a tablespoon at a time to prevent any of the weed from burning. I wish you guys could smell it right now. These GMO cookies are so fragrant. It smells like pine in here. Right now everything is melted, but you're gonna wait until your leaves kind of start to simmer. A good sign is those little bubbles. I recommend not keeping it on the heat for too long. I wouldn't exceed more than seven to 10 minutes. Okay, this looks like it's just about ready. We're gonna let it cool for a minute. Next, we're gonna transfer the weed mixture to the blender. And we're gonna blend it into a fine paste. Now the magic begins. You're gonna start by taking your bhang masala and toasting it in the same pan that you cooked your weed in. We're gonna toast the masala until the spices are nice and fragrant and the almonds are golden brown. If you're using fresh ginger, now would be the time to add it. The weed has a lot of fat that it's gonna bind to. We have fat from the nuts, there's fat from the sugar, there's fat from the ghee. Um, and all of this is gonna help, help you get super high. <laughs> now we're gonna add the most important ingredient, which is the bong paste. 
Once everything is fully incorporated, we're gonna add the milk. Oh my God, this looks so good. So this is what we're looking for, for all, all of this foam and cream on top. This is how you know it's done. Now you turn it off and the tendai part comes in. You gotta cool it before you, you don't have to cool it before you drink it, but it is preferred. But your pong is now ready. So we're gonna serve pong in small micro doses because pong is very strong. And you can garnish it with whatever you like. But we're gonna do a little bit of rose as well as dulce, which is holy basil. So there you have it, Pong Tendai. Pong is best served ice cold and with the intention to destroy your ego and bring harmony into one's life. A huge thank you to our sponsors at SF Roots and thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to check out their flower at your local dispensary. Happy Shivratri. For more information on the history of Pong and for my full recipe of Pong Tendai, visit mjlifestyle.com or check out Love Kush Co. on Instagram.